We are not your average family. My name is Rachel. You know me as Yoga Girl. This is my husband, Dennis. And this little ray of sunshine is our baby girl, Lea Luna. We live in the Caribbean island of Aruba. Welcome to our channel. Dennis's and Rachel's cooking show. <laughs> We're gonna make chili for dinner. This is a, such an easy recipe. How often do we eat chili? Once a week, twice a week? Yeah. Nah, once a week. At least once a week, sometimes twice a week. It's a staple. Um, I make it the same every time. But the beautiful thing about chili is you can get a lot of canned stuff, which for sure is mega affordable, lasts for a really long time. Um, it's something you can keep in your pantry. Something you can keep in your pantry. <laughs> we call it the pantry because it's a fake pantry because it also has our all the shit we don't want to look at. And a bunch of spices. So if you spice it right, um, this is like a foolproof recipe. And if you have a husband that isn't as tired as you, he can chop everything and put everything in the pot. Where is he? He's here. <laughs> so for this recipe. <sighs> okay. This piece is also the option. Here we get pizza. <laughs> uh, at least the vegan street continues. There's a great vegan pizza on the island. For vegan chili, this is what you need. A big can of diced tomatoes. So this is almost 800 grams, 28 ounce, a big one. A can of black beans, a can of kidney, plan of kidney, can of kidney beans, a little bit of corn, bell pepper, garlic, onion, and celery. For the spices, <coughs> yeah, my throat. For the spices, you're gonna use garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, oregano, a little bit of cayenne, cumin, most important thing about this recipe, paprika powder, salt and pepper, and cacao. Never put cacao in chili, you are greatly missing out. Peppa Pig! Peppa Pig! Are you, are you watching the credits? Can you let Netflix give you 15 seconds for the next episode? Okay, we're gonna need our big ass pot. You're gonna throw everything in one single pot. You're gonna let it simmer there. The longer it simmers for, the more delicious it becomes. But if you're in a hurry and you're hungry and you wanna eat right away, it doesn't have to simmer because it will taste good no matter what. It's kind of the best thing ever. That looks dirty. Chop the onion finely. Actually, mince the onion, the bell pepper. Diced or minced? Do you know the difference? Super small or small? Chili style, the way you always do it. Dice that shit. <laughs> and garlic cloves. I would put easily three or four cloves of garlic for this recipe. The baby's gonna eat it, so we're not gonna put a lot of like, cayenne pepper and garlic in there. Let's do two. Okay. Okay, and two stalks of celery. I hid her, her lily and her pee pee. Those words is like saying Voldemort in our house. We're gonna put stuff in there. One and a half tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of oregano. Thinking about all the animals. You should think about all the animals. It's not getting eaten by me in the last three weeks. Then it has been vegan for two weeks. Oh yeah. Okay, I also put about a tablespoon of smoked paprika. Half a tablespoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of onion powder. That's it. So you mix that together. Take your onion and your garlic. We're gonna set saute it with some oil over on the stove. Grapeseed oil, oil, olive oil, whatever you have around works well. You want this to soften for about five minutes, so it's just starts to ground a tiny little bit, kind of translucent. Then add your spices. Spices should go in really, really early. That's kind of a key thing. When you have dried spices, you need the heat and the oil to activate them. If you have fresh spices, you add them in the very end. Medium heat. Let's do this. Yep. Okay. 
You have to show the camera to see. Where is he? Oh, I don't know. Here you go. <laughs> Slow chopped celery is now in the pot. And as soon as we have the bell pepper any day now, we're gonna add our spices. I'm gonna add my spices now, pork it. So there we go. As you can tell, it's a lot of spices. I might actually add some more. The key to a really great chili is tasting as you go. Look at that. Okay, I'm putting it in. That's what she said. <laughs> that is what she said. Boom. So now we have all our veggies in here, the onion, garlic, the celery, and the bell pepper together with all of our spices. This kitchen is smelling a lot like chili right now. Oh, I forgot to put salt and pepper. Spices are so intense, it makes you tear up a little bit. Okay, beans. Right, we're gonna throw our beans in. Important part about using any type of canned product is you wanna make sure you rinse it really, really well. All right, so chili is simmering, and I'm using my potato masher to mash the beans. So just to give it a little bit more of that creamy consistency and texture. Of course, the more you mash, the creamier it becomes. We're gonna let this simmer a little while longer. And then eat. Pretty excited to eat this. You love it so far? Hers just looks like mush, mine looks to me. 